Hi, I'm Emma. Today I'm going to tell you an amazing experience of mine, of how I got attracted to an ordinary good-looking guy and how he confessed his love for me. This story starts when I was in Sydney with my friends. We went there on a week holiday, all-girl gang. I, being the only daughter, was spoiled by my parents from childhood and it was not difficult for me at all to convince them to let me go to an unknown city for a holiday. We, the four of us, planned to spend our last semester at university differently and to make it memorable for the rest of our lives. So we planned to go for a holiday far away from our homes where we could enjoy and no one could judge us at all. Preferably, we were planning to go to a place where no one knew us and, most importantly, a place where none of us had gone before, so we could explore the place together and make beautiful memories. But before we move on, like this video, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell button. This will let you live 20 amazing years longer, trust me. Now, coming to the story. On November 10th, we left our home and promised each other whatever happens on this trip, we'll stay there and none of us will discuss anything from this trip ever again. The journey began and we were about to leave our life for the last moment being us. We were about to change our nature, our behaviour and were adamant to enjoy this moment. Upon reaching the hotel, we were so tired and decided to take a nap and set the alarm for the next morning so that we could go sightseeing at the sunrise. At noon we went through the whole city and planned accordingly, so we could visit every part of the city. While having lunch, one of us got a call from a dad, which was not in the plan though. So we ended up switching up our cell phones so that we could spend some quality time with each other, as none of us knew where life would take us after a year. We went to a shopping mall that night to haul out the mall and it was decided we would split up and would buy something for each other and that particular gift had to have a meaning. We set a time, 10 p.m., where we would meet at the hotel and would give the gifts to each other. So, the countdown started. I had to buy four different meaningful gifts for my best friends. A difficult task, of course. I went through the whole mall at first and looked at every shop displayed items and divided them into categories. For example, category A had all clothing shops, category B all accessory shops, Category C, shops related to art. After hauling out the shops, I figured out my friend's interests and realised one of my friends was in love with clothing. My other friend loved antique sets of jewellery and the other one was an artist. I, I managed to buy a jacket which had imprinted on it May we always remain the same, which was something meaningful. I looked for a bracelet and a ring for antique jewellery lovers and added a small picture in the bracelet of the four of us, and asked the shopkeeper to imprint today's date on it. Last but not least, I managed to get a painting which, according to my sense, was telling me that it would be loved by everybody, as it had the famous Sydney Tower on it, which was visible from our hotel room. I instantly thought of that as a memory of ours from this trip. Anyways, I went to the hotel as decided, and we gave the gifts. We had the most amazing time that night. The next day, we managed to get tickets for a concert which was about to happen that night. We were extremely happy, as we were all going to the concert together and were about to have the best times of our lives in the next few moments. Upon reaching the venue Hyde Park, I saw a guy. He had very sharp and captivating features. He was about six feet or maybe more. His long hair and light beard added more to his beauty for sure. I instantly told my gang about him. They all kept telling me to go for him, as he was very handsome. He noticed me, maybe, I don't know about that, but he was probably staring at me, which made me nervous the whole damn time, and because of that, I couldn't even enjoy the concert. Maybe that was not my day. Ah. As we were on our way to the hotel at night, I kept on thinking about him and couldn't focus on what was happening around me what my friends were talking about. I was lost somewhere else. We reached our rooms and I told my friends that I needed to rest and asked them to excuse me for the night, but I didn't need rest. I was thinking about those moments and needed time to admit that I would never see that handsome guy again. I kept on asking questions to myself. Why didn't I go and talk to him? Maybe there could be something if I'd gone. I was devastated. 
The next day, I decided not to go anywhere, and to cheer my mood up, my friend stayed at the hotel with me, which was probably not a bad idea. We kept on thinking what we could do the whole day. I got an idea that we had to give each other some dares to perform. All agreed. I asked the manager to order some pizzas for us. Meanwhile, I gave a dare to my friend that she had to go to that guy sitting in the hotel lobby, he was a cute guy, and tell him that you're in love with him and you're thinking of getting married to him. A type of proposal at first. She hesitated. Then I recalled our promise, which we did at the start of the trip. She went courageously and performed her dare. That guy was kind enough and understood that we were just playing around. Now it was my turn to get a dare. I already knew I was screwed, but couldn't do anything. My friends said they'll first discuss and then they'll give the dare to their mastermind. I was told to go out. When I came back, I was given the dare. You have to seduce the guy who is about to deliver the pizza. After hearing the dare, I was like, my instincts told me the right thing. I was crude. And I was the one who set the rules for this game, that none of us will say no to a dare. How can a mastermind do that? I had to do that. The guy came and I went. My friends were looking at me from the lobby. I went straight to him and it was the same guy I saw at the concert. At this point, I was screwed again. Madam, your order. Oh, thank you. How much? Twenty dollars. I gave him and came inside. My friends were surprised and kept on asking me, was he the same guy, right? We saw last night, right? I told them, yes. I couldn't stop myself thinking about him. I was in love with a delivery guy. I couldn't believe myself. But to be honest, he was very handsome, and I could do anything to get his attention. So I decided to order pizza every single day, which was foolish, just to have a glimpse of him. The moment I order pizza, I would get dressed extremely well, I would tighten up my hair or tie it up in a messy bun, I would wear sleeveless or backless tops, I would wear skirts or ripped jeans. Every day I went alone and would try to do anything to impress him although he was the one I was in love. One day I decided to call him up for coffee, but luckily that day he came and proposed to me. That was a dream come true for sure. From that day we started our beautiful relationship and promised each other that we would be taking care of each other forever. I introduced him to my parents and they had no issues with him. Soon we're getting engaged or married. That's the story of how I met the love of my life and how an ordinary guy can change your life in one single moment. That pizza delivery guy made my life a whole lot better.